Hello everyone, this is CJ Novo992 and today we're back from the brand new video and I think we can all give a massive sigh of relief because one, we finally actually have something to talk about between me and thee and two, we continue to buck the trend of waiting too long before announcing some signings as we have signed the third player this transfer window in the windy isn't even autumn. That's right, what has felt like a torturous couple weeks hasn't been at all as the end of season has happened, we're in this weird limbo and we're waiting for the window to open but Rangers have supplied us with something else to sink our teeth into over the next week or two or at least take us to the Euros, then we can get distracted by that and then we want more signings, Mr Rangers. But let's go ahead and talk about the latest man to sign and hold up that very famous scarf and that very famous shot. Then shall we? Clinton Nasala, or I think I'm just going to pronounce it Clinton because a wee bit of me just crawled up myself and I started to get a little bit nervous. That isn't me being cheeky or anything like that. I'm just a bit dumb, ladies and gentlemen. So I'm going to go with Big Clinton. And Big Clinton is a centre half, a left-sided centre half who's obviously still a very young lad. He haven't just turned 20 years old. Dominant on his left side and he's able to play C, D, M. Or, for those that don't like when I say that, centre defensive mid. Which is actually an important piece to this puzzle, especially if you don't know anything about the laddie, but we'll pick that up a bit more later on, because I don't want to get distracted with CDM. What is he, CJ? Is he a midfielder? Is he a defender? Make no mistake about it, this guy is a left-sided centre-half, and that is where he's played so far in his very, very young career after making the move from France to Italy in 2021. We went ahead and signed the best defender, the Milan's. <laughs> and I think the natural comparisons a lot will come to Cordoba because we looked at Cordoba, that's who the club wanted, that's the profile they wanted and they didn't go ahead and get the lad there. So I think a, a lot of natural comparisons will be, well, it'll just be that type of player but we've found it elsewhere, we've found it for a wee bit cheaper, it's Rangers, then Rangers things. But that's a little bit disingenuous for everyone to say that. Now of course they do share some similarities with their physicality and how quick they are, that was their best attributes when we looked at our Cordoba. Over, but at the boy, the feet, ladies and gentlemen, they are completely different players and whether you like what I'm about to say or no will determine what you feel like we need from your centre-halves. But this guy is more in tune to what we've came to expect from what Rangers require for their centre-halves. With the boy at the feet being able to dribble forward, push forward and hit balls on six pinces because yes, it's mostly been used football that the laddie has played but you can see the prototype, you can see what type of player is. He steps forward and he hits it. He's got the Connor Golton pass if you know exactly what I'm talking about. So anyone wanting the, the long ball football to dissipate for Rangers will probably be disappointed because one of this lad's best attributes in terms of the ball at the feet is that long ball over behind. But again, that suits our play style. And when I was looking at centre-halves and I looked at Cordoba, where I was very happy, obviously, the best attributes being defending. I'm not going to lie and say I'm not. I couldn't really see it working because I've seen how we kicked Katic at the door. I've seen how we've treated other players that aren't naturally gifted with the ball at the tees. But this laddie is mere in tune with that whilst obviously bridging the physicality and his pace as he quite clearly joins this Rangers team and he's the fastest defender we've got by a large distance. Now of course there isn't a lot to go on but there wasn't a lot to go on when we looked at Calvin Bassey either. We had to rely on scouting reports, we had to rely on what we could find and we had to rely on what coaches and staff have said. That's the same with Clinton. I've went ahead and read it. I've no rushed out or anything like that. We went and really dived into this. Ladies and gentlemen, now I wasn't expecting the news to drop today, if I'm honest with you, but we'll roll with it ladies and gentlemen. Now how wise he does stand just shy. He's six foot two, maybe six foot two if he's standing on metal studs. That's where he is and again he's got some physical attributes but again he's a much more talented player with the ball at his feet which does confuse me for Rangers fans after looking at Cordoba and seeing what Cordoba was to now seeing us pivot to another left sided centre half but being a completely different profile have we pulled the plug on what we were thinking or have we identified a right centre half that can give you what Cordoba's got now we're looking for ball playing at the left hand side it's going to be a very interesting summer but again he's very talented he's as, almost as good as dribbling as he is passing and we're talking about centre half but where he isn't as good defensively 
is Cordoba and some of the boys. Is he as good as defensively as Calvin Bassi? No, he's no, ladies and gentlemen. But I would argue he's further ahead where Bassi was when he joined Rangers with the ball at his feet and been able to move it. But he's just no that physical presence Bassi was. So hopefully I'm answering a lot of the questions and helping you unfog the picture in this laddie. But again, then he's sleeping on because of what he's no. Be appreciative of what he is. He's still incredibly young. He can learn and get better at other stuff. But you're getting a very, very on-the-ball, comfortable player that shouldn't make too many mistakes. But that's his player profile. That's what type of player he actually is. Now, normally this is the part we start to look at the numbers and stats because we know it's a number and stats generation. That's what some people love. That's all they actually crave. But I'm going to say the same thing I've said a couple times when we've looked at some players like Abassi, for instance. I don't like diving into youth stats, troops and reserves league and B leagues, and like because I don't feel like I learn anything. The only thing I like to see is are they playing games week in and week out? Are they injury free? For instance, especially if you're a Rangers fan and if you're interested, he played over forty times last season. He was in the starting eleven, eighty three percent of the minutes available. That is what he played. So he isn't he banged up. He isn't he this. He's able to play, but in terms of playing in the, the youth football in Italian, I'm not going to go ahead and break that down, ladies and gentlemen, because I feel like I'm wasting my time and your time. There's massive differences between reserve, youth level, B league, blah, 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 in the top flight. So no waste any time. All I will say is everything I've been able to find regarding this laddie's potential and where he's been progressing has been very positive. He just wants himself that opportunity to get in and play the real stuff. Now, there was contracts on the table, if you're believing everything that's getting put out there. He did reject an option to stay where he was as he wants a pathway to first-team football that wasn't there at AC Milan. You can't really blame the club or the lad if he is still got a lot to learn, it's a hard team to break into, but he's looking at Rangers, the opportunity to play in front of what we play and play in European football and develop his game, it's an exciting, exciting prospect if you look at it that way from what I've seen, again he's not a name I was overly familiar with or even heard of a couple of weeks ago ladies and gentlemen, but he is a name that is well thought of if you actually go ahead and look and sometimes... That's all you can go on. Now, taking into consideration everything I said about not paying too much attention to youth football, the fact that he scores a couple goals a season despite being only 20 is exciting to me. Not long at centre half, they can't get nothing on target. He is a wee bit of a handful, and again, he's got a wee bit of boot him. So, hopefully, that translates to the top flight, and I guess we'll see very, very soon. But moving away from the numbers and stats, because again, I'm not going to dive into it. It's youth football, reserve football. There's nothing there, it's a nothing. Sandwich. I want to talk about the CDM role, what type of player he is, the young, the, the unknown nature that's actually going to be there. Again, CDM, the centre defensive mid where he has played sometime in the reserve league. Again, that just shows for me how comfortable he is on the ball. But if you watch him at centre half, you read, he is that guy that gets on the ball, drives forward and makes the pass. That's why he's translated to CDM. But again, he's clearly a defender as his interceptions per game and that is right up there. He's very nippy. It gets stuck in. Again, he's still a raw player in that aspect, but you're expecting that for a boy that's not kicked a ball yet in terms of professional football. But he's got a wee bit of something about him. He's not just one of these guys that's going to get involved. And on the equal side of that, he's not just one of the boys that can pass the ball for left to right that's going to get bullied in Scotland. For what I've seen against the opposition, he's got he's got a wee bit of something. He picks up a couple yellow cards. He does get stuck in, and hopefully that translates when he comes up here, starts playing the Hammer Froars, because they'll let him know he's in for a game. He just needs to be up for it. Now, the competition for places, do I feel like he's ready to dive right into the natural left centre-back spot? Is that us go, our guy? Truthfully, I don't know. And to sit here and pander and pretend that I'm the inside scoop on this laddie that we hadn't heard day five days ago, I can't tell you that, ladies and gentlemen. But what I can tell you is it fits the transfer strategy we've heard for Cop and Claremont and what he wants to bring in to the football club or what they want to bring in to this football club. They didn't want to get in bidding wars and overpay and strangle this club with wages because they're having to battle A, B and C to try and get players up the road. They want to identify talent early. They want to pick the talent like that, get them here and then make this club very, very profitable. We've seen what they've done so far in the market and it certainly fits the mould with this one. But what you are looking at, ladies and gentlemen, is a very, very youthful left-hand side. With Clinton, you've got Big Jeff 
and you've got Oscar at your left wing. That's a lot of young, young laddies in there, and it'd be a ballsy call to start so many young laddies so soon in terms of a Ranger season. But aye, it'll be an interesting one for Clement. But again, the unknown nature. I've never heard them. Who? Who? We need to rub all that stuff off the whiteboard, troops. This is what we're going to be doing now. And we've got to trust the guys that's employed to bring in them. I know we're burnt air and we're scarred for previous years and previous flops and previous failures, but it's a new regime now. Big Cop was known for being able to scout and identify talent. Let's give him a chance to see what he can bring in. And that's truthfully all I've really got to say about the latest signing who penned a pre-contract with the football club and announced officially today. Now I want to hand the reins over to you guys. I want to know your thoughts and opinion. He's not the big, massive, defensive, masterclass powerhouse that Cordoba actually was, but he's almost bridging the gap between our Cordoba and what we've got at the football club. The new, he's got the ball playing ability but he does get stuck in, he's very quick and he's very comfortable, he's no Bambi on ice that's going to be fawn air all the time, I didn't need to say the name, you know who I'm talking about, so it is an interesting one, is he a player to learn for the likes of Ben Davies, are we sticking with Ben Davies, or are we making the ultimate gamble and letting these young laddies run riot in a Ranger shot, be interested to see what you think down in the comment section below, for me, I would like to see us either keep a Ben Davies or that, but if we're moving all these boys out and we're getting rid of the suitors and the um, the, the Goldsons and that, we might need to get a wee bit more experience in there as well as it's very, very raw back there. We know a lot of first team football, so it's going to be an interesting summer and I imagine there'll be a lot of twists and turns just yet, ladies and gentlemen. But that's me, that's me done and done and excited about the prospect, but that's what he is right now. Hopefully that translates to success on the part. But until next time, I've been Tijan Over92. Thank you so much for watching. All the best and goodbye.